A friend of mine went bald years ago, but he still carries a comb around. He just can't part with it. <laughs> Welcome to Shave and Butcher. It's been a while. It's been, what, about a week, basically. Been busy. It's horrible. Busy at work, which is new. And then busy this weekend, the past weekend. So, but he, I'm back. I'm here and I'm going to do an unusual shave today. So <clears throat> I am CDB Chris Bailey, correctly quoted me the other day and he said, yeah, he said some people don't, because he's all, oh, budget's up. He's got five million different ones. Oh, it's important that they're cheap. He doesn't talk like that quite, but I can't do the southern draw he has. Um, where was I? Yeah, so he said, um, some people don't care what soap costs because they're so cheap, like you are. And that's correct, and I, I do say that. Um, uh, the real reason, really, why I don't care what soaps cost is that I have limitless funds. So so that's, that's good. But um, in order to, to show that I'm, you know, I'm not going to say I'm a, a normal average person, but to show I'm human and that I can lower myself to to your level I'm going to shave with two cheap soaps today two uh, two uh, sticks that are well known quite famous some like them some don't one is Arco out of Turkey and one is Palm Olive out of Germany I think now so I'm going to do comparison shave with these one on each side and I'll try not to mix them up uh, th this is cheap and cheerful. I paid <clears throat> this one I actually purchased in Turkey in Çanakkale. I can't remember what I paid, but I'm going to say two euros or something. This one I purchased in my local supermarket. I had to pay four euros for it. This is palm olive, and um, I wish I had holders for these. Um, you know, are there any good ones? I may not buy them. I'm just curious. You know, sort of that you that you can, yeah, that you can put them in because this is ridiculous. So I was traveling with this over the weekend and, and had really good shaves with it. Really good. It's a, it's a great so. <clears throat> Forgot my razor. Hang on. talk about me behind my back. The razor is Whalen Butcher. Ain't that pretty? Pretty little stamp. Shiny thing. It has patina. Patina. It says Whalen Butcher and uh, hollow ground. First maybe? I don't know. Warranted. It's got new scales which is a bit unfortunate but it's it's a cool blade so we're, we're using that. What are they? Is that bone? Yeah, I think it's bone. Because it's sort of, yeah, it's decided this, I can't remember. Got them off someone on a Facebook group. So we'll restart with the face. And yeah, good, good soap, good shaves. I'm gonna do Arco left side. Um, we went to a spa. Over the weekend, came back today, Monday. Feels like Sunday because of that, and uh, it, was, it was brilliant. It was uh, we celebrated my wife's birthday. She was really happy. Good place. Good food. Great hotel. Good, uh, pretty, you know, pretty good spa area. Good treatments and that sort of thing. So yeah, we, we really, really enjoyed it. It was good. I got a facial. <laughs> My second ever. So so that was kind of cool. Lady looks surprised because you book it all on your room. 
sort of thing. So she was expecting uh, my wife, I guess, because I guess guys don't don't book facial treatments. But, you know, I'm interested in that sort of thing. And I'm not afraid of my, you know, um, I'm secure in my, <laughs> my identity as man. I know what I am. Okay, so Arco left, palm olive right. I put them like that, so let's... And I got two synthetic brushes, not the same, but they're synthetic. This is Grey Dog's Full Moon, and this is Frank Shaving's, uh, yeah, uh, Friendship Shaving Macy brush. So go left first. Go left, because it's peaceful there, go left. It's not very peaceful on the left these days, is it? Okay, Arco. Doing half the face like this is uh, it's not far from ideal. Shit. So, I'm not gonna compare scents on this, just the soap performance. Well, no, no, I'll, I'll, let's do scent as well. Arco. Is like some kind of candy, and it um, it's a mint sort of. To me, it's mint. Some people say citrus. To me, not so much. Yeah, a little bit perhaps. People compare it to um, stuff you put in the toilet, not the pee pee, but the smell good stuff. I uh, don't get that. I get more of a mint in it. It smells like a Swedish chewing gum. I don't know if it's Swedish, but I've only seen it in Sweden. Not that I have ever looked for chewing gum outside Sweden, as far as I'm aware of, because I don't chew chewing gums, chew, chew chewing gums, because I'm, I'm not 12 years old. <laughs> there you go, chewing gum. Degenerates. So yeah, so that doesn't tell you, it's called Jenka, Jenka. So that only tells you something if you're Swedish and born in, I don't know, 60s, 70s, 80s, something like that. Uh, uh, if you're not, um, yeah, minty, like a minty sweet, but not super minty. Not very good, actually. I'm, I'm not, a, not a fan of, of the scent. I've never been a fan of the soap either. But I think that's prejudice, and I think that's because, you know, I'm spoiled with artisan products. If you're spoiled with that, nothing's really good, because artisan, you know, good, even half-decent artisan soaps are fantastic. Ah, oh. mm, tastes nice, doesn't taste like... It's, it smells. It usually doesn't. Do, would you agree when you when you get soap in your mouth and you have a, a certain a certain scent of the soap that the taste is very rarely the same? Is that isn't that strange? Shouldn't it be similar at least? Okay, so I've done a bit of the groundwork here. So I've got a Slightly better than toothpaste, sort of <laughs> the, um, style on that side. So we're doing the other side with a frank shaving brush. But yeah, the spa thing was brilliant and it was all to celebrate the wife really. So focused around that. Um, she got to choose what to do, her treatments. And then there's like a a few different spa areas where you can go into a three different kind of saunas, um, an ice bath, which which <laughs> wasn't turns out wasn't wasn't any ice in it. It was just really cold. So you'd go in the sauna and get really hot, and then jump in the cold pool. And it was like <gasps> you could barely breathe, and we refer to it as to it as the the ice bath or something. I think it was called that. And then 
last day one of us someone caught a sign where it says it was 17 degrees celsius which is like yeah when it's cold in the sea but you can still go in at least if you're like canadian that's what it's like it's it's cold it's not pleasant but i thought it was almost freezing because that's what it felt like when it came from the sauna so we did stuff like that and yeah, yeah. you know aroma saunas and eucalyptus smelling rooms and fire room and all kinds of crap really in the tea room where you could have tea and relaxed and it was all almost and that sort of thing but it was cool and it's sort of high-end i've been to quite a few spa uh, or resort type places and um, and i really enjoy it i like water you know big reason why i like shaving god this is going slow <laughs> but we have entertaining stories so so that's okay um yeah i know that where you wash you see you know i like the Japanese style spas when you 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 wash yourself you sit on a stool naked naked stool sitting activities and you you've got a bowl and you fill it with hot water and you you pour it on top of yourself and that sort of thing so so the ritual side of it I like you know which is no surprise because that's not the same as wet shaving but wet shaving is a ritual thing as well although this ritual is i don't know i don't know well this is scientific there's nothing to do with pleasure or namaste what is that indian namaste namaste i think it's indian if it isn't i apologize where am I? Am I getting lost? This is uh, holding up pretty nicely. God, I'm slow. Yeah, and you had a pool with different kinds of whirlpool features and waterfalls and that sort of thing. And, and an area with big uh, uh, swings made out of... Uh, shit, what is it called? wooden quilted stuff it's called something i can't remember anyway the so relax areas and, so, and 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 then two outdoor pools and a few bars and a bit of a party place party 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 part of the spa and the weather was brilliant so you can be outside and people were drinking champagne well not champagne but cheap cheapest in plastic cups because it was a pool area and it was really good I don't, am i struggling a little bit with this uh, palm olive i shouldn't be I'm having cracking shades with it but it it's, it is dumb doing half the face and i'm using my right hand which is my bad hand and now that's peaky stuff peaky Peaky, is it peaky blinders? No, but it's peaky stuff. Okay, let's add a wee bit more water. Now it's, it's doing well now. It's just using the right hand. Right or left, people say it doesn't matter. Bloody well does. It bloody well does. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good shiny too can you tell now the way that looks and the way that feels eh, is not second to a lot of artisan soaps in my not so humble opinion now that's super wet and look at that pretty cool it's not super thick because I put a shitload of water in it. Okay, so let's, let's palm olive arco. Let's finish up the, the arco because I, I didn't quite finish that off. I just left it because I knew I needed quite a bit of time to work out the other side of things. Hmm. Very 
very nice. That's drier, so slight, slightly smaller peaks. So if you have long thread of, of lather, it's it's more wet. You, you, you can see it's more wet already. Add some more water into it. How are we holding? Oh, yeah, we're doing pretty pretty well, pretty well. It's always a risk of contamination at the middle and a bit of a mixture. So in terms of applying the sticks, it's all the same. It always feels too dry and then all of a sudden it kind of works. Yeah, looks very similar. Cool, 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 cool. And we'll just freshen up this. Oh, look at that, look at that. There's a scent, uh, Arco, I'm not a fan, palm olive, very weak and boring, so scent wise both of them are rubbish really, really no good. No one can see, you know, you don't buy them for, for the scent, because the scent is, is crap. Okay, here we go. Uh, I have a slight feeling I'm going to cut myself, but the edge of this razor is so good oh, such a pleasure to shave with really really oh we're having we're having uh, an exercise competition at work so it's six weeks and we're divided into teams So it's, it's a little bit drier than usual, not a lot. It's not the fault of the, the soap, but have a, you know, look at that. It's a nice, nicely behaving soap that is. Yeah, so exercise, so four teams, bunch of people in each, it goes on for six weeks and you get one point for every 30 minutes exercise thingy that you do you can only get one point per day so we did this in the spring and i scored a point i think every single day it was hard at times but we made it it's my team one but now it's a different team i have something here i don't know what it is might be shaving related or not. I had a wick with a blade that wasn't quite up to par. Good shave, first pass on this side. For me, the soap matters very little when it comes to the shaving experience because if you whip up something similar to decent, which you can out of most soaps, I'm not, I'm not even particularly good at lathering. Um, you know, to be honest, I can't say I detect a huge amount. Oh shit. You know what oh shit means? Put the, put the, uh, the edge, what is it? The corner of the razor into the skin. So, that always means bleeding. What, two, sh two shaves in a row on camera? Where I actually cut myself. Huh. Now, this lather is prettier and falls off more easily. But does that mean it's automatically better? I don't know. It sure did fall off the blade for, the, for all the shaves this weekend. It was stellar. Stellar. Stellar? Stellar. Stroll gun off.
I always thought, what was I joking about? I can't remember. Yeah, slickness. If you have a soap that's made for shaving, and as someone who knows a little bit about how to make a soap for shaving, to be honest, at least with the straight razor and the shavette, it, I don't notice a big difference. I don't. I want to. I've tried to feel the difference. Maybe I'm not sensitive enough or analytical or enough or, or I pay enough attention, attention, attention. Could be. But slickness, slickness is, is not really a factor when I choose soaps. And I don't choose very much. I just buy everything. So there you go. Because I have infinite money. Shit, which was... That was left, right? Well, it was wrong. Doesn't matter. Wrong in, wrong side. So, this stuff still looks peaky. Peaky and nice. Been sitting on the brush for a, for a while. Palm olive. Oh, look at that. Jesus Christ. That's a... Uh, I think it used to be two... Half... Like 50 pence. So less than a dollar. When it was sold in, in the UK. And made in the UK, I think. So now shipped over here. It's a bit more. But... These two are the same price, I think, when I buy them in Sweden, where I pay more than I should. So I'm going to say about four euros, four or five, five dollars maybe. So pretty, pretty cheap. But I have to pay that for a Williams as well, or even more actually. So very cheap and cheerful. Very good razor. With a, an exceptional edge on it. It's fantastic. It really is. I, I very rarely get disappointed by Wade and Butcher racers. Wedge, hollow. It's good stuff. Yeah, so I haven't decided what exercise thing I'm going to do tomorrow. Super dry fingers, so I should be okay. Yeah, I'll be okay. Oh, I think I did it again. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Look at that. I wasn't even talking, so I'm bleeding from proper cuts. Jeez. And it's not the same razor, so it's, it's me. Both soaps are maybe disintegrating just a little bit, not a whole lot, but a little bit. Doesn't doesn't really matter when it comes to the shave. But it's more in a matter of appearance. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna have to freshen up a little bit. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Super star. Can you hear it? Yeah, you can. Yeah. No question what the star of the, of the shave is. It's that damn razor. Such a good razor. Okay, so that was Arco. Arco down. Rest of palm olive up. And I'm going to freshen that rich up a bit because longer than usual that I keep it on but it holds together you know, pretty decently it's not an artisan soap or anything the 
you saw the ladder getting started, it was, it was peaky, long peaks, really nice, bleeding really quite a lot. <laughs> it's elegant. I always think of Terry Butcher, the Englishman, English footballer. Is it Terry Butcher? Butcher? Yeah, I think Terry. Well, I can't remember what game it was. He played bleeding from his head like a pig, but I, I think he finished the game. And his name is Butcher. I mean, come on, that's proper stuff. Just watched a, a show, I guess it's English or British. Yeah, English, probably about the, the start of the Premier League. Uh, I don't know, it might be old, but it's like a documentary, a few series. Sorry about the blood. So this was number one. I should have stopped them, I apologize. Because, you know, there's no reason to show you blood or gross things. There's no extra value in that. Some of you disgusting people will enjoy that. Uh, there's blood everywhere, Jesus. And uh, it was really interesting because I, could barely remember. I remember the players, so it was, you know, Sir Alice Ferguson came to Manchester United and they were struggling and the pressure was to win and then they scored. Eric Cantona. No, what am I, oh, of uh, Leeds. And he became an instant star. And then Blackburn Rovers became good because this local guy sold this steel company or whatever for a lot of money and just went all in and purchased Alan Shearer for 3.6 million pounds in 1992-93. Mental thing to do, but it was all good until Shearer got injured. And yeah, it was fun, you know, because the game was unappreciated and there were fights and, and stuff. And then the whole league sort of pulled together and became a, a big, the big thing it is today. So rinsing off lather and blood and shit. And now I'm not doing this to appoint a winner between soap or something, but we'll, we'll, we'll fulfill what it feels like. So, you know, really good shapes on both sides, but then again, pretty much any soap you'll, you're going to get that. <laughs> I know from experience, not from today, that the, the post shave on these two is poor. It's really poor. There's a lot of, in the palm olive, there's everything is chemical, almost. <laughs> and you can read yourself from the Orco. There you go, perfect. You can pause that and, <laughs> so I don't know, but I, I, it's not donkey milk, that's for sure. Ah, stop bleeding. I have blood in my nose. Is that from? Did I cut through? <laughs> I, I really don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. Disgusting. Bleeding. Ah, I kind of, kind of stopped. I got a wee cut right there. 
So good shave. Both soaps do well. Both soaps create a good, good looking, shiny, peaky lather the way you want it. You can do them dry, you can do them wet. They're versatile. They're really good stuff. Apart from the post shave, which, you know, if that's important to you, um, then that's important to you. But not everyone's going to need an aftershave with these. You can still feel good. I pulled this one down anyway, and I like sort of putting something on. This is Rescue, what does she call it? Rescue Recovery Splash from Singari Man. Fan. I have two of these. Both got them both as a gift. Thank you. And this is Bananas in Pajamas. It isn't. No, it's Coconut, Coconut Nanas. And Recovery Splash. Such a good name. And this is sort of a liquid balm. I think Heather said, Heather said you could you could quantify it. The, the scent is beautiful. I have the soap as well, which I got as a gift. Thank you. I'm putting some on the head too, because I did do a head shave before. And it's just, it really is recovery. It brings everything back to where it was before the shave, minus the cuts. Well, can you see? I'm not even bleeding anymore. It's, it's some magic, some magic stuff. Cool shave. Some cool soaps. You know, Arco costs very little, lasts a lifetime almost. Palm olive stick, same thing, lasts for a very long time. Scent is crap. Um, applying them, you know, if you like sticks versus, you know, bit boring sticks, I think, for me, but it works. Um, soap quality, top notch. Post shave, rubbish. It's a draw, you know, I, I can't tell one from the other. If I had to choose, and I, I don't know why, I would choose palm olive. But that's, that's flash boredom, I think, because of him, because he's, he's, a, <laughs> he's a palm olive stick fan. Um, so there you go, that, that's the shave. Sorry it's been a week, or maybe you thought that was good. Uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll, we'll see when we do the next one. I, I don't do them on the, on the schedule, I, I don't like that. I like to do shaving videos when I feel like doing them. And I'm not saying they're good that way, but I'm saying they'd be even worse if we didn't do them uh, when we were inspired, right? Okay, and I don't have limitless funds of money. That was just a bad joke. If you're angry and you're commenting right now about the poshness, yeah, you could do that actually, it'd be fun. God, it's a long video. You're welcome. It's a long video for the same price as, as for one, which is free because it's the internet. <laughs> the world is a fantastic place. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll see you soon or not, but I will see you around. Meanwhile, you stay sharp.